So Dova, our purpose of being here is to call your attention to what your churches won't do. Tell you what the Bible says. It doesn't matter because you go to a building called church. That don't mean nothing today. Churches have become the biggest clubs in the world. You know it. Just look at your church. You smoke and you're still a member. You drank your beer and whiskey and you're still a member. You got a second wife and your second husband, but you're still a faithful member. You're a homosexual. Mm -hmm. And you're still a member. Some of you are racist bigots. Still a member. Politics have taken over churches more than the Bible. Hollywood have taken over the churches more than the Bible. The entertainment industry have taken over church more than the Bible. My job given to me from your Lord that made heavens and earth is to call the entire world attention back to the Bible. I don't travel to make friends. I don't travel and get paid. I don't get a speaker's offering because nobody ain't going to want to give you money for breaking up their home, breaking up their church, breaking up their relationship, breaking up their fake marriage. Nobody want to give you an offering when you preach against wrong. Like the little spoiled brat that's raised by incompetent parents. Incompetent parents let their children do every rotten thing they want to do. No discipline. No order. No instructions. No chastisement. No rules. Child can go out and come back three days later. Parents don't care. They too drunk to care. Too much liquor. Too much dope. Mother don't know where her daughter is because the mother don't know where she is. Father don't know where his wife is because the father don't know where he is. Preacher don't care where his wife is because he got another one in the woodworks anyway. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? The Lord is patient. Is he not? The only reason why you're still breathing. It ain't because you're saved. It ain't because you believe you cute. What a cheap excuse is that? It ain't because you got money. It ain't because you think you God gift to women. The only reason why you still living is because the Lord of creation is just lending you time. Time you have, it's just lent to you. He'll soon shut your heart down. He'll soon snatch your breath and leave your eyes open and you sin darkness. He will soon make your mouth come open with no breath. And you bear in mind, everybody. That's one thing I love about a real God. Everybody got an appointment with him. <laughs> You're a preacher that run around the church with his hands over his ears and speaking a tongue whenever he feel like it. You're a preacher that tell you when I count to three, you're going to speak in tongue. One, two, three, and you jump up like a bunch of Thanksgiving turkeys. 
at speaking some fake tongue because some cheap preacher told you to do it. You bear in mind, black, white, brown, yellow, red, rich, poor, you're going to stand before God. You got a date with him. Pastor Jenny, I don't believe there's no God. You still got a date with him. Mm -hmm. You may not believe that your house is on fire when it's burning. Be a fool and stay in there. Once that fire hits your britches. <laughs> I don't care how tough you are. I guarantee them corduroids going to make so much friction when you run out of there. What caused us to travel around the world and then come to a small city like Dover? Because Dover, if it's just one person in this city that wants to get right, if it's just one of you, then it's worth us coming here. If it's just one. Now, I know many of you are Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Pentecostal, United Pentecostal, PAW, Jehovah Witness, Mormon, Muslim, Apostolic. You're some of everything. Like open buffet, chicken, pork chop, turkey, smoked pork chop, liver, chicken wings, grilled chicken, broiled chicken. You got an open buffet. I want everybody in the world to hear and understand God's purpose for everybody to be the same thing. When Jesus walked this earth, he chose 12 men and made them 12 apostles. And the 12 apostles did not start 12 different religions. You should not have all these religions in one city. You're supposed to be the children of God, and that means you're supposed to be what God is. It ain't no such thing. You have your religion. I have mine. We all the same. Don't be a fool. Jesus taught to be holy. I don't read where Jesus was a Baptist. So why are you? I don't read where Jesus was a Catholic. Why are you? I want to soak you a little. You can shout next year. I don't read where Jesus ran around, knock on folks' doors with a comic book, and talking about Jehovah's Witnesses. Why are you? I don't read where Jesus said he was Pentecostal. Do you? What are you bragging about it for? I want to take you back to the Bible. I don't read where Jesus said he was apostolic. So why are you bragging you are? Mm -hmm. I don't read where Jesus said he was a Muslim. Why are you? I don't read where Jesus said he was a Mormon. Why are you in a Mormon church? You see, you go to church, but you don't think. You're too busy going to church to get hype and some fraud get in the pulpit and tell you, look to your right, look to your right, look to your right, and touch the neighbor and say, neighbor, your hour is just now. Look to your left, look to your left, look to your left. Neighbor, your hour is just now. Leave your neighbors alone. And look at yourself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters of Dover, Delaware, if the Lord came right now, will you be saved with your religion? I'm putting your religion to the test tonight. Go ahead. We're live all over the world tonight. We're live out of Dover, Delaware. If the Lord came tonight, will you be saved 
by your religion. Well, Pastor Janice, my religion is Christianity. That's nice. Did Jesus tell you he started a religion called Christianity? Oh, I know that just shocked a whole lot of you. If anyone need water, let the ushers know. They may need some, they need some water and Tylenol. <laughs> Do you know there's not a religion in the Bible called Christianity? The word Christian is in the Bible. The Bible says they was first called Christians at Antioch. A Christian is someone that live a life like Christ. That's a person. Christianity is the name of a religion. Go to your Bible. You hear me tell you over television, come on back to Bible. Come on back to Bible. You went in these churches and jumped and shout. And you're the mistake you made. You just took what men told you and ran away with it. You said amen to preachers. You gave preachers money. You helped them build churches. You helped them build schools. You encouraged your mothers and fathers and sons and daughters and grandparents to join your church. Now I'm here in person to challenge your church and your pastor. I'm here in person. I'm here in person. To challenge your religion, your pastor, and your beliefs. Any wise woman that goes shopping for any type of home appliance, do not let the salesman give her a quick sales pitch so she can sign an agreement. A wise woman wants to know she's getting her money worth. So regardless of how fast he tried to talk, he's like, wait, 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 she's, wait, 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 wait. What do that mean? What do that mean? If she got to take out a magnifying glass to look at the small print. Why? She wants to be sure she's not getting duped. She's not getting conned. She's not getting bamboozled. If an intelligent, wise woman is like this with home appliances, why are you not that particular about your soul? You go to church. You don't ask questions. The preacher get up, and he got his sermon written out, and you say he preached. He ain't preached. He talked. A man is not preaching if he's not preaching the word of God. And a real preacher don't have to write a sermon because it's already written in that book. I've never been to Bible school. Never had a Bible course since I've been black. And last time I checked, I ain't changing colors. I was made a preacher by the best teacher. My teacher is the Lord of creation. And the Lord of creation have never sent men to give their opinion, their personal views, their personal idea. The job of the preacher is to point you to the book. Why are you going to churches where the preacher points you to History, theology, renowned great men, as if they're greater than God. You don't ask questions, but you shout. You don't ask questions, but you run around the church like you're in the Indiana 500. You don't ask questions, but you look at a fake prayer line where the preacher take people and push them on the floor. You don't ask questions. You go along to get along and assume that the conduct of the churches are biblical. So then the preacher says, when you do ask questions, don't question God. Tell him, you ain't God. 
You done took my tithe and took my offering, and you going to tell me I can't question your teaching? When you're in school, do you question your teachers? Then why you don't question the man in church? He got on his big baggy robe like a trash man. You think he's biblically inclined because he have a Ph.D. and a D.D. and a L.L.D.? School don't make preachers. School make students. Preaching is a divine act of God. And just like God inspired men to write the book, the same spirit has to get in man to preach the book. Are you listening? If God inspired men to write, then the same spirit got to get in man to interpret, break down, analyze, <coughs> explain what is written. That's right. The word of God said whatsoever things are written the full time. It's written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That's why you hear me over the air telling the world, leave these churches. Oh, and, and the people, they hear me too. And they're coming from all around the world. We was in Augusta, Georgia about two weeks ago. 56 went down in the water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before then, we were in Sacramento, California. 102 went down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before then, we were in Houston, Texas. 156 went down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why is it that people are cooperating and coming out of the churches, black, white, yellow, brown, red, I don't care about the color of your skin. You have a God that you're going to stand before. He ain't a white God. He ain't a black God. He's just God. And when you die, it ain't no white worms. It ain't no black worms. It's just worms. <laughs> yeah. It's just worms, and they're waiting on everybody in here. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? Whatsoever things were written. Let's go there. I want everybody to follow me in your Bible.